Welcome to the start of our P7 transition process. My name is James Smith and I am head teacher at Castle Douglas High School and Dalry Secondary School. Like most things, the transition process will be very different for session 2020 to 21. However, one thing that will not have changed is that P7 pupils and their parents will still be anxious, nervous and excited about moving from the primary to the secondary school. The young people have had seven years to become comfortable and confident in their primary schools and now face the excitement of joining the big school. For some parents, the transition from P7 to secondary will be old hat, as you have older children who have gone through this experience with you in the past. However, for many others, this will be the first time that you have been the parent of a precious bundle who will soon be a secondary school pupil. For all of the P7 pupils, this will be the first time that they have made the transition to secondary school, so they will be very excited. We are not able to meet you in person due to the current COVID restrictions, but it is still very important that we begin the transition process with you so that you and your child are fully equipped and ready to make the move to the high school and make that move as successful as possible. Remember, this transition is for parents too, as you have been involved with the life of your child's primary school, supporting your child's learning, supporting school events and taking part in opportunities to help make the school a better place for your child. We want you to feel just as welcome at the high school and for you to feel that you can continue to be fully involved with your child's education and the improvement journey of the school. The rest of this presentation will go on to start to provide you with the type of information that will help you and your child to feel much more confident about joining us here at Castle Douglas High School next session. My name is Alison Cook and I am one of the deputy head teachers at Castle Douglas High School. I have responsibility for S1 as a year group and the P7 S1 transition programme. We are having to do things a little bit differently this session due to COVID-19 and unfortunately this means that you as a parent group are unable to visit the school so I will do my best to communicate with you throughout the remainder of the session regarding transition arrangements for your child. There's a leaflet to go with this presentation which will be distributed through the primary schools. The main aims of this presentation are to share with you the transition calendar and how we go about gathering information on your child to ensure their transition to Castle Douglas High School is as smooth as possible. We have some video clips of our new S1 pupils who would like to share their experience of transition with you and tell you about how they are settling into S1 at CDHS. I will explain how our team of pupil support staff will get to know your child and how they will look after them throughout their time at Castle Douglas High School. And to finish, we have a video showing our S1 in a range of classes to give you an idea of what the school looks like and the kind of activities your child will take part in. My email address is on the information leaflet and if you would like to get in touch with me if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to do so. Usually we would visit the primaries to meet the P7 pupils in person, but this year all of our visits have to be virtual. So we're using Microsoft Teams to visit the P7s, which means we can still do our presentations and have our usual question and answer sessions with the pupils. The aim of our first visit is for the pupil support team to introduce themselves and to explain their role in looking after the pupils when they come to the high school. The P7 pupils then get to share anything they are looking forward to about the high school and to ask any questions about anything that they're worried about. This meeting takes place during our S1 personal and social education lesson, which means our current S1 pupils can help to answer any of the questions and it also shows them in a classroom situation at the high school. In January, the senior leadership team do another virtual visit with the primary sevens and this is also on Teams, and this is to deliver a beginner's guide presentation. This gives the pupils information about how the school runs, tells them about who the key staff are in the school that will look after them when they come, how the canteen works, what the school uniform is, a typical S1 timetable, and lots, lots more. Also gives the pupils yet another opportunity to ask any questions that they, they may have about the high school. Our gateway evenings are usually held in our associated primary schools, but this year the presentation will be posted on the website and the address for that is on the, the information leaflet. This gives parents and carers information about communication with the high school and about the S1 to S3 curriculum. 
In May, we have another virtual visit called Moving On Up, where we do some final preparations for the virtual induction days. The Moving On Up booklet is issued to the P7s and this gives them yet more information about S1 as well as a map of the school. We had three virtual transition days last June where staff at the high school put up some fun activities and tasks for the primary sevens to complete. This gives the pupils a taster of the kind of lessons that they will take part in during S1. And the primary seven team has already been set up for this session coming and information will be shared on the team throughout the session. An awful lot of the transition work that we do goes on behind the scenes we like to gather as much information as possible on each child so that we really get to know them well before they even step foot over the door in Castle Douglas High School. So for example, throughout the year, some of our pupil support team may attend meetings for pupils who have additional support for learning needs. At these planning meetings, appropriate support is discussed and agreed. We have an enhanced and supported transition programme for pupils that might require a wee bit of additional support with their transition. Um, pupils requiring this kind of support are identified by primary staff quite early on in the session and a planned programme of visits is arranged for them to visit Castle Douglas High School and to help them become familiar with the building, the staff and the pupils. When it comes to gathering information, we like to find everything out about each child. Discussions take place with the primary seven teachers about learning, about behaviour, friendships, hobbies, talents and interests. We also discuss pupils who are best placed to go to be placed with each other in class groups and who we might need to avoid. If any agencies have been involved in supporting the young person, that information is also shared with us and the reason for the intervention. The Primary 7 profiles and the SNSA data are looked at by secondary staff to help them get to know the pupils and to help them set work at an appropriate level. All of this confidential information is shared with our staff at Castle Douglas High School and it's used by all the teachers to support the pupils with their learning and to meet any social, emotional and behavioural needs. Medical information is also collated and shared with all staff. In May, our S1 register and practical classes are made up. We do have criteria that we use, but the criteria is flexible. Um, and these class lists are shared with the primary seven pupils. Last year, we shared the, the class list via the, the P7 team and it looks like we'll have to do the same again this year. Once I share the class list with you, if you have any concerns about the, the class that your, your child is in, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me and we can always do some, some reshuffling. This is slide five. Our team of junior leaders will support the new S1s when they come to Castle Douglas High School. They will look out for them at break times and lunch times and for the first few days the, the junior leaders will take S1 from class to class to make sure no one gets lost. The primary seven team helped me move up to high school and, it, and the teachers gave us um, weekly challenges to do um, across the um, lockdown period. And it gave us something else to do um, rather than our schoolwork and it helped me um, get ready for high school. My favourite classes at Castle Douglas High School are Home Economics, PE, IT, Science, Geography, History and Music. And also the lunches are amazing. I settled in really well at high school, I've, I'm more mature and I've made more friends. My advice to the primary sevens is to not worry about getting lost. My advice to the primary sevens is don't worry, high school's great fun. The teachers are very nice and the lessons are very interesting. Good luck! Good luck! We have a vertical system for pupil support, which means that your child will have the same pupil support teacher throughout their time at high school. Your child's pupil support teacher is their named person. Pupil support have an overview of your, of your child's attainments and achievements. Progress in subject areas will be monitored closely through regular tracking conversations in PSE. Pupil support staff will support your child with pastoral issues and may liaise with partner agencies to do this. You can contact your child's pupil support teacher at any time if you have any concerns of a pastoral nature or if you would like a general update on your child's progress. 
You may be aware that there are building works going on at Castle Douglas High School at the moment to make some improvements to the learning environment for our pupils. Here are some photographs of some newly refurbished classrooms and some photographs of some of our S1 pupils in class. I look forward to meeting you very soon and thank you very much for watching.